Hi everyone. Well, I've got a new video for you today and it is about how to do a patent search. And I'm gonna be using a specific example to help illustrate how you can do that search. And during this search, we're gonna find a bunch of references. Now, how do you know if those references are relevant? Well, you have to ask yourself two questions. Is the invention novel or new? in light of the references that you find? And is it obvious, again, from the references that you find? When you can answer those two questions, then you can determine whether or not your invention is something worth protecting in light of what you find during the search. So really, patent searching is really about answering those two questions. So let's get started right away. Okay, so for today's uh, search example, we're going to consider the possibility of inventing a new type of electric toothbrush. And here I've listed um, the sort of characteristics that this new uh, toothbrush has. First of all, it's an electric toothbrush, which is um, rechargeable via USB. Um, it also has a head which has an electric motor in it, causes which causes the um, bristles to vibrate. So it's one of these hypersonic, uh, ultrasonic type of uh, brushes. And what we think is a, a novel and new thing is that it has a little ultraviolet LED buried inside the head, which projects ultraviolet light onto the teeth while you're brushing. And that ultraviolet light helps to sterilize and kill the bacteria that's on your teeth. So this should be some kind of new improved hopefully improved type of uh, electronic toothbrush. And let's do a patent search to see whether or not it's actually worth trying to file a patent for it. All right, so now let's uh, do that patent search. We're going to use the Google patent searching tool, which is a very powerful tool indeed. And you just go to google.com forward slash patents. Um, so here we are now. Uh, it looks like a regular Google search, but in fact, every search phrase that you put in here is actually a search of patents. United States patents, European patents, Chinese, Canadian, Australian patents, basically patents from all over the world. It's a very powerful and very quick uh, tool. So best way to do is uh, to do this is to just simply click in the uh, query window and just put in our first term toothbrush electric and let's put in uh, UV for ultraviolet and click return and see what we get ah now you see we're getting all manner of interesting search results here. Here's a portable toothbrush case with UV lamp. And if you just click on this, we get to that reference. It takes a moment. Ah, here we go. All right, so it's a portable toothbrush case with a UV lamp. So if we just read through it, it is a, the invention relates to a toothbrush case. That's not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for a toothbrush. So let's go through this and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got some images here. Let's take a look at this image here. You just click on it. And you get this over here. Now you can get a full screen if you just Go over here to the window here to this little maximize icon and there you get the well this is prior art this is not exactly the uh, the invention that's the subject of this patent application but obviously it's a case here for use with this toothbrush let's close this uh, thing and see what this uh, what it shows oh here we have Another drawing here, very interesting. Let's take a look. Let's maximize that. 
Ah, very interesting, very interesting. Now you can magnify by clicking the magnifying, then you can search through this. Yeah, and there, obviously there's the UV light. There's the circuit for it. it fits in this part of the housing. This part, there's obviously some kind of window. If we read through the description, this is probably window 52. This is the first time I'm seeing this reference. I've never seen this reference before. So this is not exactly what we're looking for, but it's somewhat similar. Okay, so that's an interesting reference, but it's not really what we're looking for. So let's go back. Just click on the uh, button here. Back button. Okay, portable toothbrush case. Uh, germicidal UVC toothbrush method and apparatus. Now that sounds very intriguing. So let's take a look at this reference. Okay, so here's the reference and it's a germicidal UVC toothbrush method and apparatus. That's the title. Now uh, from this you could tell that this is actually a um, application. It's not a granted patent. So this is what's called the publication number. So let's read the abstract. A toothbrush for providing germicidal UV radiation to a user's mouth. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. So this does not bode well for patentability of the invention. Uh, the toothbrush has a main body portion arranged along a longitudinally aligned axis. Okay, well, it's a toothbrush. Uh, includes a power source, uh, controller board. Uh, I don't see any vibrating element to it. So it's a toothbrush and it seems to have, according to this abstract, uh, some sort of uh, ultraviolet light source. Um, let's take a look at the images. Here we are. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, that looks very interesting. Let's expand that. Okay, well, so there's the toothbrush itself. It's battery powered. And there's some kind of control switch here. Let's magnify. Yeah, there's some kind of control and then there's the batteries. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's the bristles and oh, what's this over here? That looks like some sort of UV lamp. UV lamp 14 and if we were to go through the disclosure we would see and this probably goes in here someplace. Let's see if we can see something from the other drawings. Okay, all right. Let's take a look. So this is kind of this is what's called a longitudinal cross section or long section. Let's take a look through here. Yeah, there's the there's the UV lamp right through here and it's shining UV light. But the bristles don't vibrate. They are stationary. So that is very interesting. And let's go back see what other kind of toothbrushes we have. Okay, so here is the light-based toothbrush. Uh, described herein are light-based devices for use in detection of plaque or delivery of whitening effect and interalia in toothpaste formulations containing ultraviolet brighteners that provide a whitening bleaching effect. Okay, so this is a similar type of thing. It uses light, no doubt ultraviolet light. It mentions ultraviolet light right here. Okay. S but it's doing it for a different purpose. Now, how relevant is that? Well, according to patent law in most jurisdictions, um, if a prior art reference discloses the same features as your invention, 
that could prevent you from getting a patent even if the reason they have the features might be different than the reason you have your features if it shows the same thing then it is a relevant reference which could prevent you from getting a patent so that's one thing to to know about that um, for the sake of curiosity let's just take a look at the drawings Let's take a look at this one. Now let's expand that. Okay. Ah, now this is very interesting. Let's take a look, closer look here. There, that looks very much like an ultraviolet LED, an UV LED, and there's item 20. We can double check that by checking this uh, description. And then, these things here, these dotted lines, look very much as if they're light pipes. They're plastic or glass tubules that take the ultraviolet light and they travel through these light filaments, these light pipes, and they end up at, in the brush head where they shine out. So. It's an innovative design, I suppose. Um, has it. So this is a very relevant reference, and it doesn't bode well for our invention. But let's check other references. Again, I haven't seen one with a vibrating head or anything like that. So let's keep looking. Okay, well, um, Thus far, I don't like those uh, um, results. We're not finding any toothbrushes with any vibrating motors or anything like that. And that probably means that we're just not searching enough. So let's just keep looking. Okay, uh, toothbrush sterilizing cabinet, no. Charger, an electric hair cutter, no, 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 no. Restroom organizer, reciprocating germicidal toothbrush and system. Well, that's. That's an interesting name. That is a very interesting name. Let's take a look at this. And this is a patent. So let's take a look at this. Made of optical fibers capable of transmitting germicidal ultraviolet light. Well, that's very, that is exactly what we're trying to do, but it's actually got light pipe uh, technology, which is incorporated into the actual bristles. So that's very, that's very clever. The ends of the bristles are coupled to a metal bar that connects to a connecting rod. The connecting rod coupled to an electro, uh, internal electric motor that causes the bristles to reciprocate back and forth on the head. That sounds exactly like a vibrating toothbrush. So let's just take a look at this because this sounds very, very relevant. Okay, all right. Let's expand this a bit more. There's the electric motor. There's a gear mechanism. Yeah, that's a reciprocating arm right there. Yeah, that's a reciprocating arm, 126. It goes back and forth. And it's hooked up to the bristles. Okay, and then here's this light pipe that's coming out. I bet you this hooks up to an LED, UV LED. Okay, so I think this might be using some sort of external ultraviolet source and goes through a light pipe into the handle and then onto the brussel. Uh, but nevertheless, so it's a little bit different than what we've invented. But I think we've seen several examples of uh, previous patents that had ultraviolet emitters right actually in the handle or in the head. I would consider this very damaging prior art it's new in the sense that I don't see a reference that has both an electric motor and both an internally disposed LED powered UV source, but so that it's new. But is it obvious? And the answer is yes, because I think this reference here shows the combination of both vibrating toothbrush uh, heads with the use of ultraviolet. Now it's an external ultraviolet source, but external, internal, doesn't really make that much of a difference from uh, an obvious perspective. I think this would make it very unlikely that we would be able to get a patent for the basic idea 
of a vibrating toothbrush which uses ultraviolet light. So that's a shame, but um, it's good that we found the relevant reference. Okay, well, um, I hope that was illustrative. I hope you learned a little bit about how, um, you know, how to conduct a patent search. And you learned a little bit about that really excellent patent searching tool uh, that which Google maintains. And um, so unfortunately, we couldn't get a patent for that invention, but it's better to know that up front. Okay, so if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment. If you've got some examples of things you'd like me to search, uh, types of products and so on and so forth. I'd be happy to do that, uh, create a video and illustrate how I would do that type of search. In the meantime, you know, do me a favor, please give this a, a like. And if you found this useful, you know, subscribe because I'm producing more of these videos, which could be of interest to you. Okay, well, thank you very much, everyone.